Hey YouTube, it's me, Anisha, and I'm coming through with another video. And I just want to say this, because I've been seeing a word thrown around really loosely today. And I just wanted to say this. It is not your fault if your parents did not get married, but yet you were born. That has nothing to do with you. It doesn't make you less than, it doesn't make you less special than parents that were married and had children. It does not make you any different. So, I just wanted to give you all just a little confession. Well, as you all may know, those who have read my story, I didn't put every little bit of detail in it because there are some things that just does not need to go written down. But on today, since I've seen the word thrown around really loosely, I am going to go ahead and just say this. Well, my mother had six children. I got here by the grace of God. I'm number five. So for a lot of people that don't have a lot of kids and maybe one, two, or three, you don't even see the fourth and fifth one, let alone anybody else because you only have one, two, or three. Well, my mom had six children. I am number five. So it took me a long time to get here. And it was meant for me to be here, regardless of what anybody may feel or what any words they may throw around. My children, they were meant to be here. So I'm just going to say this just like this. My mom was a married woman when my dad met her. He didn't know she was married and he found out after he had fallen in love with her. But it was too late because he had already fallen in love with her. My dad was an 18 year old virgin, first born of a pastor. So he's a preacher's kid. And that wasn't his plan to fall in love with a woman that was married. That wasn't his plan or goal at all. <laughs> Neither was it his parents dream for him. But yet it happened. And not saying that it was right for him to get a married woman pregnant. But like I said, he didn't even know she was pregnant. I mean, he didn't even know she was married. So he impregnated her. I came after my brother. I'm number five, like I said. Well, people would say because my parents weren't married, man-made words would be, you're a bastard. Tuck some words people come up with to make themselves sound very educated and smart. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how I got here. I'm here. And God has been using this little bastard to write books, to encourage others, and guess what? To preach his word. I have videos where I preach the word of God. I understand the word of God. And I know Jesus died for my sins and rose again just for me. And others out there that are just like me. So you could put whatever label you want to put. It doesn't make anybody better than us. It doesn't make them more special because their parents were married. It just doesn't. It doesn't matter. And God doesn't care about it because at the end of the day, we only can control ourselves. We can't control what others do. There's a lot of things that happened in my life that I didn't plan. I didn't see in my future and think, oh, this is going to happen. I didn't think that. I had the pretty little American dream story in, embedded in my head, just like everybody else. Well, some. But just like most regular people, I would say, that have a dream of how their life, how they like, how would they life um, go or how they want their life to go. Excuse me. How would they want their life to go? But life happens and it don't go out. It doesn't go as planned. So I just wanted to say this. It doesn't matter what people say 
Don't let anybody take away your joy. Don't let anybody take away your, if you're feeling the Holy Ghost, you don't have to stop dancing and moving because someone threw that word in your ear just to dim your light or to try to stop you. And I just wanted to say it like this because some people that think they're higher than others will say little things to make you feel less than. And they're no big of a person than you are. Their life is not, not what they make it to be. Or anything like that. So just be who God has created you to be. Just be bold. Don't let anybody try to make you feel this little. Because really, they're probably feeling this little. So at the end of the day, and um, there's a lot of parents that um, they're, they've had children. You know, they're married. They've had their children. But... Some of their children end up being worse than us bastards, <laughs> you know, because God don't like ugly. So be nice to others. And if you're another person that um, your parents may not have been married or they were married, but they didn't stay married. Don't feel bad about yourself because we are all special. And like I said, if you got here, it was meant for you to be here. Look at me. A living witness. It took me a long time to get here. Like I said, I'm baby number five. Do you hear me? So who knew I was going to come along? And yeah, it took a virgin, my dad, 18-year-old virgin, fell in love with a married woman to have me, a bastard. Not only that, my brother came first, then my baby sister came, and she's number six. So, at the end of the day, it was meant for all of our little bastard selves to be here. It was meant for us to be here. And God love us all the same. And guess what? Don't let anybody dim your light. Don't let anybody tell you you're not special. And make others feel good. And make others feel just as big as you want to feel. So, I hope you all got this message. And taken a lot of good out of it. Because this message is to encourage others. And to build others up, not to make others feel less than or low. Because like I said, at the end of the day, we cannot control others. We only can control who we are. And life doesn't go exactly how we plan it at all. It doesn't go exactly how we plan it. It goes how God destined and ordained our life to go. And he uses our story for a reason. Just like I said, look at this little bastard right here. And guess what? I've written books. I've written songs. I've sang at churches. I've spoke at different places. And I've done a lot of things. And guess what? God used me, the bastard, to lift his name up and to tell others about him and the great things that he can do for us. And just keep the faith. So, peace out.